Good morning from Falmouth, Jamaica. We're headed in today because we are going to have a, they're calling it a private vehicle tour where we're not really sure what we're gonna do. We just said, I would like to do a, like a, we'd like to have a, a, somebody tour us around. And so we uh, set up a private vehicle. So we're gonna have two private vehicles for our whole group. And we're just gonna go to somewhere. We're kind of just gonna let our driver decide where we end up. Should be a fun adventure. So let's go. All right, Jackson is following Ashley. Ashley is taking us where we need to go. Right, bud? Yeah, I think so. And then there's a stack of towels that we can take if we need them. And now we are gonna tap off the ship. All right, here we are. We are in Jamaica. And I, I don't know if we got off before everybody else, but there's nobody else down here right now. Welcome to the historic Falmouth, Jamaica cruise port. Playing Bob Marley as soon as we get out here. Sounds good, I like the acoustics between these buildings. It really is very nice here. Making a basket real fast. Real fast basket making. Some funny shirts over here. One just says live, laugh, fart. My favorite one I've seen best. And there's another one that says just do it later. Some local artisans out here with some wood carvings. Various bracelets. Making them right here. Making wooden stuff right as we speak. Ah yes, Dairy Queen. Everything else was like local artisans, and then this one's just a Dairy Queen here. All right, I think this is the van that we're getting into. Yeah, we thought that we were gonna have to split up into two different vehicles, but I think we're just going in one because this one's big enough to hold everybody. All right, so they are splitting us up, and I think that's just because we paid for two cars, so they want to make sure that they provide two cars. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. morning. Welcome to Jamaica. As I said, my name is Anthony. For short, we say Tony no problem. Your first time here in Jamaica? Yes. 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 Okay, welcome, welcome. Oh, there they are. So once we started moving, the road noise was a little bit too loud and the camera microphone wasn't really picking up what Tony was saying. So we're just going to voice over some of what he was saying and tell you some fun facts about Jamaica. So we started off in Falmouth, Jamaica, and we are headed towards Montego Bay, which is the capital of the St. James Parish. And the island of Jamaica is split up into 14 different parishes. And a parish is what we would call in the States a county. Yeah, we travel on the left side. So the reason why we travel on the left side is that we used to run by the British. Right. So we got independent from the British in 1962. So another good thing why we travel on the left side is that my precious heart and your pretty heart is on the left side. So what we do, we keep it to the banking side. We don't put it in the middle of the road and so it can get too easy. Yeah. You know, famous Hussein Bolt, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the school he attended. That's where we started his athletic skill. Oh. We sent the water bus and donated to the school. So Tony was telling us that the national dish of Jamaica is aki and saltfish, and aki is a red fruit that is grown in trees all over Jamaica, and it was brought over from South Africa during the slave trade because Jamaica used to be a slave colony. Aki was brought over to be used as a soap for washing clothes, but they also found out that you can eat it, and when you cook it, it looks like scrambled eggs and tastes like scrambled eggs. Another popular fruit in Jamaica is breadfruit, and Tony said when you roast it, it looks like bread, and when you boil it, it looks like potatoes. Another thing that Tony said was that there are no wild animals in Jamaica. He said there's no lions, there's no tigers, no bears, or snakes. He said there's only mosquitoes, which I thought was interesting. We found out that there are only 3 million people on the island of Jamaica, and that tourism is their number one industry. So when people stopped traveling because of COVID, the economy took a really big hit. So now Tony is telling us about the great houses that can be found all over Jamaica. Great houses are basically like plantation houses. They're turned into historical centers now where you can take tours. And Tony was telling us about the Rose Hall Great House, which is allegedly home to the ghost of Annie Palmer. She's known as the White Witch of Rose Hall. She was alleged to have murdered three of her husbands. And then Tony was telling us kind of a funny story about the Rose Hall hauntings. That one they say is a haunted house. Ooh. But that was just a myth because at one point in time they used to tell you that you couldn't go there at night. Because if you go there at night, you would see ghosts. But no, they are doing night tours. Huh. So where's the ghost? 
Now Tony is taking us through one of the rich neighborhoods of this area of Jamaica where there are a lot of mansions and larger homes. And Tony was telling us that a lot of these houses are empty right now because people from all over the world would move to Jamaica and then they would build these big houses and then it was found out that they were drug lords and drug kingpins, so now they're all in jail. And Tony would just drive along and point out big houses and say, this one, empty. This one, empty. The owner of that house was extradited to the state on drug charges. But I don't know how, how he's so lucky. He's back in Jamaica. They're setting free. On what reason, I don't know. So now we're driving through Old Montego Bay, and unfortunately we didn't stop. We just kind of did a little driving tour through the city. Tony was saying that there's nowhere to park, so there was nowhere for us to stop. But we were driving through Old Montego Bay to get to the Parish Church of St. James, where we have a little tour. So the St. James Parish Church, Montego Bay, one of the oldest Anglican church built right here in Montego Bay in the year 1775. So we're now in our 247th year. Now all these furniture you have seen here, all these are all handcrafted and they're solid mahogany wood. Now over there, the original pipe organ, which was built right in Liverpool in England, and it's over 200 years and it's still in use for all those services. Wow. This organ was restored in 1973. Holy cow. In front of me, the stained glass window, which shows the crucifixion, the resurrection, and also the ascension. It was made by Jones and Willis of London, England, 1910. This is where we do all our scripture readings. It is made of solid brass, and this is over a hundred years. And we are very, very proud of this church. Why? Because over the 247 years, we have been through 22 ministers. No, the present minister has been here since 1982. It was given by one family, the church and also the parish. And that is over 300 years, 1662 to 1962. So after touring the church, Tony is taking us up the mountain a little bit to get a bird's eye view of Montego Bay. We hopped out to have a look at the bay. They said that everything you see here used to be sugarcane plantation. And now we're up in like a rich neighborhood where all the pol politicians and lawyers and doctors live. And now we're taking a quick trip into New Montego Bay and Tony is telling us that everybody in the community is very excited because they have a Wendy's, a Popeye's, and a Payless Shoes. And we were excited because they have a Radio Shack here still. We parked in the back of the Burger King drive through We're gonna go over here to these shops over here. Jackson likes to ask, what's that trash can? Ooh, Blue Seas, I think we might head in there. Came in to have a look around. He's telling me that everything is 50% off. We can get cigars, all kinds of different liquors and rum cakes. There's all this stuff. And Jackson's like, I want to get this basket. Oh wait, everybody's doing tastes of rum, buddy. Let's go look. Oh, dad's already drinking it. All right, let's see. What do you think? Tastes like Coca-Cola. Tastes like Coca-Cola. Was it good though? The Spider-Man. Shirt. I like that it's embroidered. Shake it. Just one, just one. Shake it. This is like the musical instrument shelf, buddy. Oh, I like that one a lot. Yeah, me too. And then this, buddy. Leave that car there. This is my favorite Pikachu I've ever seen in my life. Oh, the little Peppa Pig. The Daddy Pig and, and Peppa Pig, I think. Some minions over here. Paw Patrol. Oh, see, this this Pikachu looks a little bit closer, doesn't it? Beautiful water right there. And we actually thought maybe we would go inside the Burger King to use the bathroom, but I guess the, the Water Commission is on strike right now, so none of the bathrooms, none of the public bathrooms at least, have water in them. So you can't flush the toilet or anything like that. So we were going to go to the beach, but we only have enough time to do one or the other, either get lunch or go to the beach. So we chose lunch and we thought, well, well, let's just go and like dip our toes in the water. But the beaches cost money to get onto. So it would have been like five or six dollars to get onto the beach and we per would have person. only per person and we would have only been there like five minutes. So we just decided to skip that and we will just go straight to lunch. We're gonna go to a place called Scotchies. That is that's what um O'Neill told us. He's the one that told us about it. So yeah. 
and it's an authentic jerk restaurant. Like it's a jerk center. It's a, it's a jerk restaurant. I don't know. Yeah. All right, here's what we got for our chicken, and then they gave us some hot boy. <laughs> just <laughs> pour a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna put some on just this little side. Yeah, on the side. Okay. See how hot it is. Did Chris get it? You see the? Let's see. Oh, Can I, I see that? Some. That's just ketchup, right? Rice and cheese. Just put a little bit here. And some French fries. What do you think? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy. I like this. What did you call this? Rude. Oh, oh rude, rude boy. boy. Yeah. Good. All right. So we did it. We had some authentic Jamaican jerk chicken from Scotchies. It was very good. Like I enjoyed the flavor a lot. Jen really liked the the like the hot boy or what do they call it? They call it the the rude boy or the bad boy. And so it was just a little bit too spicy for me. All right, they dropped us off in the marketplace here, but I think we're just gonna head straight back to the ship. And we did it. We made it back to the ship. Okay, so we are all back from our private vehicle tour of Falmouth, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Jackson's asleep. Uh, what did you think of the vehicle tour? I thought it was really interesting, but I talked to some other people uh, when I was out on deck and they went to a they went off the ship and they went on a tubing tour. Like, like a, a tubing. river tubing tour. Yeah, and she's like, it was great, it was relaxing, it was beautiful. And I was like, oh man, I wish we had done something like that. So but because, well, because we have people in our party who are less mobile, we had to pick something that we could all do. And also Jackson, I don't know if he could have done the tubing tour. Right. You know, so we did what we could do with all of us. Yeah. And I think it was a good time. Yeah. I enjoyed trying the food. I enjoyed seeing the markets. Yeah, I like seeing the church. I like the historical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I also like seeing like the different towns and how I especially really like seeing how everybody drove on the island. Yeah, it was pretty wild. It was, yeah. Um, so I, as I was booking this cruise, I was going through all of the different port adventures, and this was the only thing that I found that I thought that everybody in the party could do. Everything else was kind of like high adventure. Yeah, it was a definitely more like rocky terrain or um you know lots of steps stuff like that stuff that like your parents couldn't do and maybe jackson couldn't do right so i think we picked the right thing yeah but if we were to go on another cruise i think next time we might try something different if it's just the two of us yeah i would definitely yeah. try to do like horseback riding in the ocean yeah or like there's a there's an alpine coaster that's like supposed to be like a bobsled yeah that sounded cool yeah a lot of neat things mm -hmm. but not this time no but now we're gonna head out to the pool for a little bit enjoy the sunshine so yeah. people are still out in uh, at the port so the decks are a little bit quiet right now so. that was the other nice thing about this it was it was only a four hour tour so we still have plenty of time left in the day yeah so let's go down the slide on our way over to the slide i wanted to stop off and see if we could figure out what kind of animals these are this one kind of looks like a frog maybe a gorilla uh i think it's supposed to be an orangutan smaller, smaller gorilla then some dinosaurs. Look, it's like a family yeah, of dinosaurs. I love the that. The dinosaur ones are awesome. Flavian, he's the one that did all of the towel animals, and he's been doing a different set every day of the cruise. We missed the first one, so we're gonna come back tomorrow to see what he made made for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Time to ride the aqueduct. Looks like there's not a line at all, so this will be good. You excited? How many times are we gonna ride it? I wanna ride it at least two times. All right, maybe about three. <laughs> I thought there was no line, but apparently it's a 20 minute wait. Oh. Oh, look at that. Magic.
pads at the end how fast do people come out of this thing it's like it's barely moving looks like the port is mostly empty you can see the band is packing up there's a storm rolling in over top of the island oh the other cruise ship left oh yeah it looks like it just left like the water's still churning from the propellers wow i didn't realize there was a margaritaville store down there Oh yeah, we didn't even come over into this square right here. We just kind of like walked along this section over here. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot more down there than I thought there was. I wanted to quickly pop into Sweet On You, which is like the ice cream shop in here. Maybe get a little, a little dessert. Look at this beautiful shot of Mickey and Minnie enjoying a Sunday together. And Donald and Daisy arguing over the fact that Donald has ice cream on his head. And Clarabelle? Just eating ice cream. Sort of makes sense, right? I think I'm gonna get this one. This one is peanut butter Snickers gelato. Is that what you're getting? Yeah, I think so. But this Rocky Road looks amazing as well. Mm. Look, Stitch coming down the stairs. You want some ice cream, Stitch? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Whoa! What did you guys? Jackson got run over one train at a time, so he tries to get in and out of the slide as quick as possible. Did you have fun in the splash pad? Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful water. So we're just leaving Jamaica. You can see it there off in the distance. I didn't realize we were moving already. Yeah, we started moving around five. Jamaica? We already went to Jamaica, buddy. Again! You want to go to Jamaica again? Well, we'll have to go on another cruise, I think. <laughs> this kid. Huh. He said, again! I want to go to Jamaica again! What was your favorite part of Jamaica? Soccer balls. Soccer, soccer balls. Soccer balls and oh. the gift shop. <laughs> we went to this little gift shop. Did we show them? Yeah, no, he, they, yeah. They saw him? Yeah, they saw him. Jump off. Yeah, you can, go ahead. you can jump off that, yes. Good job. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> you are one little silly Billy, you know? So tonight we're going to have dinner at the Royal Court. That's true. We've already eaten at the Royal Court, and I was I was kind of concerned because I was like, oh, it's going to be the same menu, but it's not. We've never done a seven day cruise, so I didn't realize that the menu changes oh. when you go back to like when you go when you rotate through the dining and you go back to the ones you've already been to. Yeah, the menu is different. There you go. So there's some interesting things on the menu tonight. I can't wait to show you guys. Ooh, is it oysters? Oysters. Yeah. Hey. All right. Now we are headed off to dinner. We're going back to Royal Court Midship. My favorite thing that Jackson does when he walks through those hallways, he says, "Is the baby sleeping?" Because one time we said, "You can't yell in the hallways because a baby might be sleeping." And so now, he very loudly says, "Is the baby sleeping?" Hook and Smee are out. Mickey and Minnie are out. And we're going to dinner. But we are going to the Royal. Oh, and they're doing like special photos on this white cloth here and we're going to dinner at the royal court so all the princesses are out too you can see rapunzel and cinderella are out Ooh, how would you like to have that big round table in the middle of the royal court or the royal is it called the royal court what do i say i say royal palace is this called the royal court i may have called it the wrong name 16 or 17 times hey. oh say hi o'neill yeah there you go so for bread tonight we've got some sourdough. This is a roasted red pepper dip. Mmm. 
not my favorite. But I'm kind of like, what do you think is the base? Red pepper. Just only and red water. Pepper. And water. Okay. I'm gonna try yeah. it. I'm gonna try it. And then oil. <laughs> your dad, your dad said it has ketchup in it. Yeah, we'll ketchup see. base. Good <laughs> mayonnaise. Let's try. It. I hear Jackson had a really nice nap. Jackson did have a nice nap. You want another one? Sure. Not a fan. Okay. Here's what the base is. What is it? Red pepper. <laughs> All right, we're trying to have a little, little bit more healthy tonight for Jackson. We got some grilled chicken some broccoli and some potatoes. But he's really focused on these watermelons. Ooh, Jen got oysters Rockefeller. Yeah, so it had spinach, onions, and bacon topped with buttered breadcrumbs. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, you wanna try one? No. <laughs> Thank you though. I got the eggplant, but my dad's eggplant is way bigger than mine. Look at this. And then my mom got the, the tiger shrimp or tiger prawns. What is that stuff in the little cup? It looks like coleslaw. Okay. Aged prosciutto, garlic cloves, parmesan, and sun-dried tomato. Okay, two or one. Oh, wow. Everything is under control. Thank you. Oh, awesome. that came out real fast. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was sure. quick. Let me take care of business for you. Okay. Sure. Gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Okay, man. Awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I got the Parmesan crusted chicken on top of fettuccine. My dad got red snapper, and then everybody else got the lobster with some potatoes. I think it was lemon pesto potatoes. Ooh. And it's very good. And then Lynn got the pumpkin Thai coconut curry with sticky rice. Every night they bring Jackson his raspberry sorbet. And then Lynn got the raspberry creme brulee. My dad got the mint chocolate chip sundae. It's called the captain's table sundae. Captain's table sundae? Ooh. And then everybody else got the chocolate molten lava cake. Chris got the warm apple pie. Look at that, it looks really nice. Kembar brought extra lobster for us to take back to the room. Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> it's a lobster. It's a lobster. Give you this one. What do you call this one? This is for you. They have told you. Yeah, this is fire. Oh, oh a dragon. A dragon. This is fire. Wow. That dessert was really good. Really good. Now we're headed back to the room. We might call it an early night. I don't know. Oh, Stitch is out. And then Wicked Charm are singing. I think this is the name of that. Wicked Charm. When I go Stitch, meet me green. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I came back to the room and there's a gigantic alligator towel animal in the room. Look at this thing. It is huge. Holy cow. Wow. That's intense. All right, so after dinner, came back to the room, there was an alligator in the room. <laughs> it was frightening. I think that um, our room host, his name is Raj, he is doing such a good job with the animals. Yeah. Well, he's doing just, he's doing a good job in general, but like, what? A crocodile? Right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and he turned Jackson's bed into like a dinosaur bed? Oh, I didn't get to show you guys that. He put the good dinosaur sheets on Jackson's bed. Well, he came out, so we were out on the balcony with Tim's parents the other day, and he came in and he said, does Jackson like dinosaurs or cars? And I said, he really likes both, but what is it? And he goes, I have a surprise for his, for his bed. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, he'll love either one of them. Um, so just surprise us. And then he put the, like, new, it was like a new um, comforter, sheets, pillowcase. Jackson came in and he goes, oh, there's a dinosaur on my bed. And it was so cute. He was so excited. Yeah. So he just, I don't know, our, our room host is doing such a good job. I agree. Yeah, and our servers tonight, like, with the, the little lobsters that they made, like, that was really cool. I'm going to save those forever. Right. I don't know. I just I feel like the service on this cruise especially has been fantastic. It's been really good. Yeah. So. So today was a good day. Yeah. Like, I know that the excursion wasn't exactly like the excursion was good, but I feel like I kind of have like FOMO from the excursion today because 
I like the excursion, but I, after hearing stories from other people, yeah, there were like other excursions <laughs> that I think I would have had more fun on, but it, I don't think the whole family could have done them. No, they definitely would not have worked for your parents or for Jackson. So right. I think if we come and do this cruise again, this itinerary, we or just an itinerary that goes to Jamaica, I think we will maybe try something more exciting. Yeah. But I think everybody had a good time on like just driving around. Yeah, it was interesting to see like all the history, the way that the, the town works, all the people, everything like that. Yeah. It was cool. So, I don't know. Today was a really good day. Yes. I had a good time. Tomorrow is our day at sea, and then the day after that is Castaway Key, and I'm so excited. Tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff planned for like the whole day, and then Castaway Key is always fun. So Yeah. yeah. So, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.